Okay, there we are. Okay, so why is a daily method of operation so important for your business? And hi there, my name is Alicia Dijong, if you don't know me, from aliciadijong.com. Now, why a daily method of operation is so important? I want you to think about this. If you have a job, you know, you go to work and you've got the boss, if you were to walk in there each day and didn't actually know what it was that you had to do as soon as you walked in the door and throughout your day, what do you think your boss would do? I think your boss would be really cranky with you because you wouldn't be getting anything done and you would be wasting a lot of time walking around and around in circles. Now, this is what's happening to people like yourself and like myself in network marketing, building a home-based business from home, is that we're coming in each day and we are sitting down. You may not even sit down at a consistent time of day. So now going back to having an employment or job, you need to show up on time, right? Whether it's 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 11.15 or 1 p.m., whatever it is, you need to show up every single day that you are required to by your employer. So you need to have this same mentality when it comes to your home business. You need to show up consistently every single day, okay? Uh, try and come in on a certain time each day, you know? Personally, I like to be sitting down by 10 a.m. Sometimes if I have too much other things going on here, 11 a.m. is the latest I ever start work, okay? And I can usually work through to around three or four o'clock depending on my children. So you need to have this same mentality. If you are um, working still and you're not doing this full time, but you still need to actually show up each day, whether it's for one hour, whether it's for two hours, maybe in your lunch break, okay? Maybe you get a full hour for a lunch break. What is it that you're doing in that lunchtime that's um, not productive for your network marketing business or your home online business? Like, what is it that you're not doing, okay? So stop and think about that. So when it comes to a daily method of operation, you can also, you need to tweak this to suit you. So like I do work full time from home, so I have that luxury. But if you only have that lunchtime break, write down maybe two action items that you can go and do in that lunch break, okay? Or, uh, you know, when you get home, maybe you have like a bit of an hour or so before the kids need to go to bed instead of watching TV, go and work on your business, okay? So I'm gonna run through a few things, what should be included in a daily method of operation. And I'm also gonna share with you my spreadsheet that I use uh, to get access to it. I'm gonna give you access to a group that I have. It's a closed group, usually only for people who are, are members in my attraction marketing. But uh, it was the only way I could work it out that maybe the best way to do it is to add it to the files there and then uh, give you access into that group so that you can also access that file. It was either that or create some opt-in, which I didn't want to have to do. And yeah, I just wanted to keep this really simple. So at the end, I'm going to tell you how you can get it. Okay, so now thinking about, you know, like structure, okay? Why you need that daily method of operation is for structure. It's going to keep you focused. It's going to give you, I do have notes. It's going to give you, it's going to keep you focused. It's going to give you direction. It's uh, going to stop you from getting into that shiny object syndrome. It's also going to give you income producing activities and consistency. And it's also going to help you achieve your goals. And on top of all that, you're going to track your goals. If you're not tracking what you're doing and you're not tracking your results, then you will just continually spinning your wheels, okay? If you're not tracking your leads, you're not tracking your sales, you're not tracking your new enrollments, you're not tracking uh, the simple things that you do each day, how do you know if they're actually working, okay? And this is why the daily method of operation is also so important because how do you know what you're doing is working or not, okay? And until you start to realize what's working and what's not working, then um, you, you can't break it down unless you have something like this to track and to break it back down of, okay, well, that worked. Okay, that didn't work. I need to change that, okay? So an example of a daily method of operation is, I'm just going to tell you what mine is, okay? 
as an example and in the download that you can go and download I do suggest print it out have it on your desk and like just tweak it to suit you because mine's to do with my uh, business and uh, there's gonna be things in there that won't you won't have access to uh, to do with like some healthy mind and body programs that I'm into and stuff like this so um, you need to tweak it to what you have access to and what's going to suit you but this is definitely going to give you a guidance and then uh, you can just work on through okay so the first daily activity that I particular I keep this particular spreadsheet on my keyboard okay so when I finish for the day it sits there and when I come in the next morning it sits there so that's the first thing I look at all right that way I'm not distracted by Facebook I'm not distracted by emails I'm just okay what's the first thing I need to do okay so what we do is on the tracker I'll see if I can hold it up it might be a bit backwards you can see that we've got a weekly goal I like to put a quote in and also the week number so I'm up to week four with this program right now and this particular uh, tracking so put in your week I suggest you try and do this over 90 days so you're gonna have um I don't know what's that like uh, oh, mental blank 16 weeks okay so 19 90 days because by having there's no point in having something and just doing it for a week you need to do it over a long period of time to have change and to actually see the momentum and things rolling okay so the first thing that I uh, on my daily activities is like I said before I'm in a healthy mind and body program so each day I need to go into there and I need to make a daily entry it's usually a video um, it's usually about mindset energy uh, what your focus is what it is that you want to achieve it's a lot of um, your yeah, mindset stuff because working on your personal development is really really important and you need to have that scheduled into your daily method of operation okay so that is number one for me uh, next one is follow-ups Facebook messaging emails and texts so you know overnight you always get Facebook messages you know people asking questions and uh, just building relationships and that kind of stuff so follow-ups follow up go and check out your Facebook messages and go and answer those people and um, the other thing in follow-ups is also notifications you need to go keep out of your Facebook timeline and go into your notifications and follow up in those notifications because you've gone and posted uh, on someone's timeline or you've uh, posted in a group that you may have or you've posted uh, on a business page or whatever and people have responded so you that's also part of your follow-up so just follow up on the notifications not anywhere else okay uh, and emails definitely go and check your emails because you know you're building an email list I, like I am I often get people who uh, email me and thank me or email me and ask me questions so I need to follow up those people they're really to me a priority because they're someone who's on my list and they're following me and they're opening my email so I call them top of my list okay the next one is three-way messenger chats um, how many have you got scheduled in for the day the week um, are you doing them is another really good question if you're not you should be use your upline to be doing three-way messenger chat and uh, or a three-way call whichever suits you and your prospect uh, add contacts added to list email or Facebook friends so how many people go into your if you're building a email list how many people did you get overnight or throughout the 24-hour period how many people have opted into your offers uh, um, also Facebook friends like how many people you know have I don't like to go and just friend people it's just a bit spammy and I find it really difficult you know just to friend someone just because is really just untargeted and it don't work and then there's no relationship building there so it's much easier if someone friends you and then you can go hey how are you going thanks for the friend request blah 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 blah. go and check out their profile that kind of thing so that's uh, add new contacts to list email and Facebook friends um, hours of business and or product training so you need to know your products 
and your products are related to your business okay so you need to do homework on this you need to know uh, look you don't need to know what your lotion and potions and your drinks and pills and whatever it is you do are made from but you definitely need to do some product training you do need to know something okay nothing worse than when you're speaking to someone and they just go you know what i actually really don't know what's in it but it works here's some information it's much better to be more confident about what it is that you do and your products and be confident in speaking to someone you don't need to know all the ins and outs and but you do need to know what the benefits of those products are and how they're helping yourself or how they've helped somebody else okay so you need to keep tapping into this also your company's website you know they're always releasing um well my company is i don't know what yours does but it's mine's always releasing new blog posts uh products uh product information uh sharing stories so it's good each day to be able to tap into those so that you have stories to tell and you learn about the product you learn about the business and you learn about the company because you do need to know about your company if you don't then go and learn about your company because you need to know okay and that's what's going to also help build your belief in the company and in your products and in yourself of how great those products are in the company okay so that's the business and product training um, I would be suggesting an hour of that a day if you can okay that's what I do um, compensation training each day I write on my whiteboard here my compensation plan out I want to know it and I want to be confident to be able to show somebody else because at the end of the day yes we want product users but we also want uh, business builders okay ultimately yes there's money to be made in product users but ultimately the residual income and all that better money is actually coming from business builders and you're here to grow a business and you want to grow it deep so you need to know that compensation plan so when the time comes to tell someone about it you are so confident with it uh, that it, it doesn't matter then there's no objection there's no ifs or buts because you believe in it okay so practicing your compensation plan I think is really really important okay we use a really simple diagram on a whiteboard so we use a really simple diagram for it I stand up here each day <laughs> scrub it off get my whiteboard and I just talk to myself okay and I run through it because when I first started doing this there was some things I actually didn't know so I had to kind of just refer to a few things when oh okay so I need to keep tweaking my message and the only way you're going to do that is by saying it out aloud so that's literally a five minute job okay hours of personal development uh, this goes well and beyond my health and mind and body program that I'm also a part of personal book development is reading books it is not just going and reading quotes and stuff it's reading books it's growing your mind growing your own confidence becoming a leader uh, just reading books really is the best way or listening to an audio or listening to a podcast okay they are great ways of personal development so if you are I don't actually do any of that stuff physically sitting in my office I do it in the car and I, before I go to bed I read um, so I listen to podcasts I take Max to the beach I listen to a podcast it could be a business podcast because my company has its own podcast so I listen to that it could be even listening to a Facebook live you've seen like today I was on uh, Aaron Birch's Facebook live and uh, it was a replay but I saw it and I'm I like listening to her so I listen to that over to the beach and then coming back I actually listen to someone else's Facebook live so that's personal development because what those people were saying was actually really good and um, other ones could be like maybe you've got an audio book that you're re uh, listening to you know listen to a chapter uh, if you're driving to work don't listen to the radio listen to a podcast listen to an audio audio book um, that's personal development instead of filling your mind with whatever crap the radio talks about okay 
Um, the next daily activity is social media posts slash curiosity posts. How many times a day are you posting? Uh, are you using the Facebook story to paint more of a picture about your uh, day, your life, your family, your dog, whatever it is? Use that, okay? It literally takes seconds. Really, really is nothing. And same as a curiosity post. Uh, definitely at least try and put one out a week. I mean a day. And uh, they're really not that difficult to do once you just start doing them, okay? Until you start, everything's difficult. But once you start, you get on a roll and all this other extra information comes to you because you've started. Okay, so really, really important. Uh, a Facebook Live is also on this particular uh, weekly, or the weekly daily method of operation. Doing a Facebook Live daily. Uh, emailing your list. If you have a list, you should definitely have some sort of email going out. Now, this could be not something you have to curate every single day, but you could sit down in a block, especially if you're working full time, sit down in a block and uh, schedule out some emails for the week. But then go and add, once those emails are scheduled out, go and add them into your autoresponder. So, you know, before you know it, you've got 60 days worth of emails and you just don't need to think anymore too much about it. So it's gonna lighten your load. But to start off with, if you're not building an email list just yet, okay, you're gonna to have to put in a little bit of work there, okay? Uh, the next one is add new members to groups. I have two groups, so I'm adding new members in each day. So therefore, um, you know, I need to go in and check the groups. I need to add them, you know, add the members in, welcome the members in. And also go and respond to any comments or questions that I have within the groups, okay? Uh, team building is the last daily activity. You're building a team more well, than you need to go and love on your team. And you need to, uh, you know, keep providing them with information and make sure they know that you're there for them, okay? Plus other things that you would have to do within your team building. So they're daily activities. And the other activities I have is a weekly activity, which is a blog post. Write a blog post. If, you, if you've got your own website, definitely aim to write one blog post a week, okay? Because this is really important. This is important for branding you online. This is important for um, directing people back to your website It's and uh, positioning yourself as an authority and influencer. Really, really important task to do. So, you know, with that particular blog post, there's so much that you can do with it, right? Then it can come back to a daily activity. You could share that out in an email. You can put it on your Facebook page. You could um, share it out in some groups if you're into sharing into groups. Uh, and the other thing about blog posts is that when you write a blog post, you actually learn a lot along the way. So it's really uh, actually more of a learning journey and then your sharing journey, okay? And the other weekly activity is scheduling out posts because this is going to lighten your load on your daily activities if you can schedule out posts. Using your Facebook business page and in groups, you have the ability to use their Facebook's uh, tools in there to schedule posts. That's going to really lighten your load. So you're not going to feel like you're bombarded with activities to do each and every day, okay? You find a good piece of content, schedule it. You find a good quote, schedule it. Don't just keep going boom, 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 because then you have to curate fresh content each day. Schedule it out, okay? Um, the last thing that I actually have on my daily method of operation, this is actually really a weekly method of operation, not really a daily, um, is a focus or goal for the week. How many enrollments have you had? gratitude for the week and takeaways and lessons for the week what are they okay so these are things that you need to be taking note of and tracking okay so on this uh, daily method or weekly method of operation there's room for a weekly quote write a quote down that's something that you've listened to and you're like wow that really hit home with me write it down so that you see it each day and then just go through and um you know, on Monday, you know, follow-ups, Facebook messages, emails, texts, write down, okay, oh, two messages, um, one email and one text or something, you know. But then come Friday, you may have none. But then the following week, you may have a lot more because you've been doing these activities. 
So you're starting to generate curiosity and you're starting to generate uh, what we call attraction marketing. These really are daily activities to improve your attraction marketing, okay? So that you don't have to go and hassle, you know, your friends and your family and you can broaden your business to worldwide. Okay, so to get access to this particular daily method of operation, I'm going to put a link below and you can come over into my Attraction Marketing Mentoring Group. Uh, just... Um, there's usually some questions there. Just maybe write in one of the comments. Saw, the, saw, want to download the DMO. Saw you on Facebook Live. Okay, and then I'll let you come into the group, and then you can go over to the files section. I'll actually tag you in it because it's in the actual uh, timeline right now, and uh, you can go and download it from there. Okay, all right. So that's it for today. Uh, what and. Just remember, it is really, really important to have a daily method of operation, okay? Um, yes, it becomes mundane, but the mundane is what's going to give you the consistency and it's um, going to give you the direction and the ideally at the end of the day, the freedom that you're, that you're looking for to build your business online, okay? And um, unfortunately, think about something, just before I go, just think about when you show up to work, you do the same job, right? You do this, you do that, you do this. It's boring, but you do it. This is no different, okay? You need to show up and you need to do this, 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 and this. If you don't, nothing gets done, guys, and your wheels are just going to keep spinning, all right? You need to have a structure, and this is the best way that um, you can do it. Look, you can try and find some shiny object program to help you with all this, but you know what? Nothing wrong with a good piece of paper <laughs> and tick it off. It's so much more um, accountability in there, I believe, because you're mentally writing something down. Okay. Okay. So go over and join the Attraction Marketing Mentoring Group. Download your daily method of operation. And if you've got any questions about this, please add them under this video. Hashtag replay and, um, and let me know if this has actually helped you too, because... I want to provide you with the information that's going to help you to grow your business online and to help you from spinning those wheels and to start to get some momentum moving forward. Okay, bye for now.